Hello folks, I'm making today's video uh, to go onto the UK Preppers Guide website and I've added it to YouTube and it's a means of cooking or boiling water over a stove but that stove is a simple log of wood. Now there are plenty of YouTube videos showing this type of stove. Uh, Swedish fire, Swedish log fire, Swedish candle, um, a rocket stove, it goes by various names, there's nothing new in it. Um, but I'm just going to show you how I do it. So, the only tools you're going to really need are a saw, because you're going to need to, you're going to be procuring some wood, harvesting some wood here, and a, a mallet for your um, axe, and ideally an axe. Reasonably sharp, and that's all you need. So, the first thing you, uh, you have to do is get yourself a bit of timber, a bit of wood, cut about 6 inch diameter and this is about 10 inches long. This has got a few cracks in it already which I'm going to utilise, obviously this big one here. And the idea is I'm going to try and cut it into four sections. So if I just take that there. first two. Now you want to make sure it goes back in the same way so ideally if you've got a pen with you you can start writing one two three four the, the four different sections you could use a bit of charcoal out of the fire if you've had a fire previously if not just remember simple as that so That's the first step. Okay, you've got so I'm gonna lay these out now, like so, and then we're gonna do a cut about inch and a half from the bottom. But that depends, of course, on the length of the wood. You might want to do it one inch, two inch, three inch, whatever you want. There's no nothing, nothing set. I haven't really got anything better to work on here than this relatively soft soil, unfortunately. As you can see, there's a lot of bounce in it. running up the middle. Now if you were if you were to leave it as that with just the chimney up the middle you're not going to get any airflow and obviously the fire isn't gonna isn't gonna take. Some people I've seen they spread them out a little bit like this. They could put um, a twig Twig down each uh, each cut, literally causing a a sort of uh, pathway for the air to go in and catch light. That works, and it is probably the simplest way of doing it. Now, if you want to make this into a fire that you can feed, you then obviously need a means to get into the side. That's where it turns into more of a a rocket stove uh, rather than a, a, a Swedish fire. So, if we wanted to do that, okay, so from there, if I wanted to do that now, I'll just take two here and you're going to try and put a hole through there. Now, whether you use that as the means to feed the fire and, and feed the fuel in in the beginning is to some extent neither here nor there but a hole 
definitely helps. It helps the burn rate. And I'm just going to cut through now. So I've cut two slots here going down. Just tidying it up a little bit, but realistically the whole thing's going to burn to a crisp, so it doesn't have to be a masterpiece. Right, that's good enough. <coughs> One of the other things that I tend to do is because this chimney area is going to be the area that's going to be uh, on fire first, it's well worth just roughing it up a bit. Getting a few, like a few mini feather sticks going on there. Let's get this put together. Now it's very possible I will still need to um, still need to open the sides up a little bit. Now what I have seen is a lot of people put something around them, wire or something. Um, it does hold them together much, much better. There's absolutely no doubt about that, but this is a quick, a quick stove really, it's nothing fantastic, as long as you can keep the thing in place. Now, I've got an air pocket here, to draw air through, it may well be possible that I'll need to open up a little bit more to get more, more air for airflow, but until you try it, you don't know. So, As long as this surface is reasonably flat, you're going to be able to put a pan or a cup or something on there and, and boil some water or cook some food. So, uh, next thing then is to get a fire going inside the actual um, middle of the log. Now if this was uh, a Swedish um, log fire, this is how you'd set it up. You'd put the twigs down a into the chimney and on the top and you light it there and, and they'd fall down but because we've got this additional bit that makes it more like a rocket stove you can feed your fuel in there as well and that's where I'll actually light it from I'll feed um, a lighted uh, bit of tissue or something in there and the flames will come up and that extra air will give it much more of a chimney effect and much more of a draw but um, I've also piled a load on top as well and I'll, I'll catch fire to them, set light to them.
So you can see what's happening. Air going in, chimney effect, and it's starting to catch light to the fuel that I've put down inside. If we wanted to give this more of a help, there's nothing wrong with just opening up a little bit. And you see what happens as soon as you've got more air coming into it. to get more twigs on the outside than the inside. Close up. Now it's caught light quite well. I've deliberately faced this opening this way because the wind is coming this way. Now it's not much wind, but there's enough wind to just get under there and cause a drawer of the fire. And now most of the fuel is actually burnt off. So now it's only burning on these four sides here and it's quite a nice controllable heat. Now I'm sure you've seen on YouTube these things working perfectly and you know dead level surfaces and everything and no doubt you can make them like that if you want to take ages doing it. I mean you saw that took what 10-15 minutes but that'd be, that's just my theory. Um, don't necessarily believe me, go have a look at other people on YouTube, see what they think, see what they say. Um, this little method works for me simple as that again get out there find something that works for you and do it um, the the in actual fact in all honesty the idea of putting this notch through here I saw this about about three years ago at one of the bushcraft shows um, I got it from uh, a, a fella he's got a YouTube channel Des Catties so um, take a look at his channel as well, he's got some good stuff on there. And he does a specific rocket stove, and that's where I learnt doing it this idea. Previous to that, I'd always been just doing the Swedish uh, fire and opening it up to get the oxygen in. But I think this is a better idea. Um, but it's whatever works for you. This will burn now for ages and ages, especially if you can restrict the airflow going in a little bit. You're always going to keep it the flame low. But what a lovely little fire. You can put a pan on there and you can cook. You can put your cup on there, get some water. And you can sit round it in a completely controlled way. You haven't got a fire that's going to spread like mad. Um, where I am now, it's, as I said earlier, it's really weird soil. It is literally completely root bound. Everywhere in this soil are roots and I had a normal campfire early and it was almost disastrous. I tried to confine it to a small fire but before I knew it half the ground was alight because these 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 roots that are under here um, and it really wasn't very successful so it was lucky really that I got this log and I was able to build this little one and you can just sit around it and it's lovely. Now, of course, the key to all of this is getting out there in the woods and doing it. Just trying it. 
If you make a fool of yourself, so what? Nine times out of ten, for me, it goes wrong. Um, I try not to edit too much. Uh, so you, you've seen this, how I've, how I've done it. Yeah, sure, I could have made it a lot better. But get yourself out there. Get your rucksack packed. Get out there in the woods and experience what bushcraft, survival, and just, just being out here with nature is all about. It is, you'll be surprised. Bring your kids and you'll be the best dad in the world. Or mum. There's a lot of bushcraft ladies about nowadays. So with that um, inspirational speech, folks, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks to everyone who subscribes to my channel and comments and, and visits the website. It is appreciated. And I'll see you on the next video. So take care and bye for now.